This is a shocking news story. I, Tom I, Brady's coming back. I, I would say this is much more shocking. More? shocking. Because I never thought this would happen. I really, truly, and we were had a role in this story a little bit. Something was taken away from someone years ago. No. Reggie no. Bush is getting his Heisman? Get his Heisman? According to Pete Thamel, the college football reporter for ESPN, exclusive, Reggie Bush is getting his 2005 Heisman Trophy back, ESPN has learned, with a formal reinstatement of the trophy coming today. So not only will he get the trophy back, it appears, from what I'm reading, he will be the Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, it'll be put back on the list. Hmm. The decision comes amid what the Heisman Trust calls enormous changes in the college football landscape. Wow. It's happening today. Wow. Yeah, but what he is guilty of would still be a violation now, wouldn't it? It's not NIL. Just- yeah, he would have to go through proper channels to get permission to do the things he did. Because he got loans or a loan and then didn't pay back the loan. From a marketing company. Yes. They, yes. They fronted him money. They hoped he would sign. Um as part of the decision Wednesday, the Heisman Trust is returning the physical trophy to Reggie, a replica to USC. Bush will again be invited to all future Heisman Trophy ceremonies beginning in the 2024 season. Okay. Wow. I would have bet the opposite way on this one. What does that mean for USC? Does USC get anything restored here? Yeah, yes, like they, they should get their wins back, right? Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting topic because that's an NCA decision. The Heisman Trust is its own entity, but yes, that's a fair well, question. The guy that got you in all of that trouble has now been, well, everything has changed, so now you're not in trouble anymore. You should be getting all of those wins back. Yes. Pete Carroll should get his whole, everything should be expunged. Do you think that the Heisman Trust did this without talking to the NCAA? I'm looking at the story, and there's nothing in the story from what I'm, I've just read it that, that the NCAA be, was involved. That would be extremely they, short-sighted if they didn't think of the NCAA. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the NCAA can ignore this completely, which they're very good at. Yeah, but there's conflicting messages here. It, mm-hmm. I would be surprised. Maybe can we reach out to our friend at the uh, Heisman? Absolutely. And see if he can help us understand, did they bounce this off the NCAA? Because it, it does impact the NCAA. With USC, like is Reggie Bush going to be the only one who bene- is the only benefactor here? Uh, USC get a, a physical trophy back. They always have a replica. I don't think they care about having a physical trophy. It's the other stuff that you know. This you know decimated USC for years. According to the story, the NIL changes in 2021 kind of put this on the the front burner for the Heisman Trust. I, I understand that you could get somebody to give you a loan. He didn't pay back the loan. If he paid back the loan, then there wouldn't have been an issue. He wouldn't have been ratted out to Yahoo Sports. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused here because current NIL, yes, he could get a loan, but, he, you know, he still has to pay back the loan, which he didn't do. USC sanctions from that investigation, including the BCS v- vacating the 2004 national title, the first time a major college football champion had been stripped of its championship. Okay, are they going to say to Ohio State and Jim Tressel, hey, guys, uh, you know, we're going to give you something back here for the uh, tattoo gate that they had, exchanging jerseys for tattoos. Are they going to allow? I mean, are we going back now and rewriting history here because of N- NIL? Because you could get an NIL deal with a tattoo parlor. Yes. And then, hey, all right, let's just all get tattoos. Sick. Then I don't have to give up my jerseys. Yeah. Like I, okay, I'm a little confused. Let be, before I overreact to it. Let's we're we're just reacting. Let's see if we can get some information here. Reggie Bush, uh, according to ESPN, is going to get his Heisman Trophy back. And um, the Heisman Trophy Trust said, recognizing that the compensation of student athletes is an accepted practice and appears here to stay, these fundamental changes in college athletics led the trust to decide that now is the right time to return the trophy to Reggie Bush, who unquestionably was the most outstanding college football player of 2005. USC sanctions from the investigation include the Bowl Championship Series vacating the 2004 national title, the first time a major college football champion had been stripped of a title. NCAA stripped USC of victories in 14 games that Reggie played in, including the BCS title game blowout over Oklahoma. Now, does the trust make this decision without at least conferring with the NCAA to say, hey, 
Uh, we're going to do this. Is the NCAA now prepared to give USC its national title back and those victories back? We have calls in and emails in to uh, all the appropriate people, the NCAA, Pete Carroll, Reggie Bush, Matt Leiner, uh, the Heisman Trust. So we'll uh, see if we can get a little bit more information here. But I would think that the Heisman Trust would at least bounce this off the NCAA and say, we're going to do this and then get their reaction. Or if we do this, is the NCAA prepared to put out a statement? Because that's what I'm waiting for next. And I would hope that we would hear from the NCAA to say, hey, they can give the Heisman back to him. It's like the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. If the Baseball Hall of Fame wants to put Pete Rose on the ballot, they don't need to talk to baseball. But I would advise them to talk to baseball. And the same with this with Reggie Bush. You want to give him his Heisman back? Are you giving USC? I mean, USC is the one that paid the price. I mean, Reggie Bush didn't get a trophy. He still got drafted high, what, second pick overall? USC lost a lot. Scholarships, national title, Pete Carroll leaves. There was a lot attached to this, and there's still a lot of USC people are frosty over that. Yes, Bowling. I'm telling you, if I'm Nissan with those Heisman House commercials, mm. this is on a tee. You could have a lot of fun with this next year. Mm. Reggie Bush gets welcomed back. They have a big re-welcoming mm. ceremony. Mm. They dust off the trophy. Mm. Mm. Golly, this is wild. Mm. And it was a few months ago, Johnny Manziel said, hey, I'm not going to show up for the Heisman Trophy ceremony. I think that was, what, March 1st that he said it. And at the time, I don't know. It got some traction because it's Johnny Manziel. I don't know if that was the impetus where the NCAA or Heisman Trust goes, uh, wait, Johnny's not going to show up? You know what? Let's revisit this. Hey, there's NIL. There's compensation. Okay, if we're going down this road, do then we open up other investigations here? Do we open up um, the death penalty for uh, SMU? Like, you know, now you can get a car. Now you can have all these sponsorships. Ohio State with what happened with Terrell Pryor and company, giving up jerseys to get tattoos. You're setting a precedent here. Now, this is for the Heisman. This isn't the NCAA doing this. That's why I want to know what the NCAA thinks about this. Yes, Paul. You know, it's especially awkward about this. When Reggie Bush was stripped of his Heisman, the trophy, and the title, they did not give it to Vince Young, who finished second from Texas. A lot of people thought they should because he was in line. It would be like um, a sprinter in the Olympics getting stripped. You, you bump up to gold. That's what, how they do it. Imagine if they somehow, in, after this, gave Vince Young the Heisman that year. And he was considered the winner. And then years later, they give it back to Reggie Bush. Yeah, but if you strip somebody in the Olympics, they've cheated. Therefore, the next person should get the gold medal or silver medal or bronze medal. Exactly. If Reggie, you know, was, I guess, trying to cheat the system, get a loan, and then he didn't pay back the loan, and then somebody made that public. And then, so it's not like Reggie tested positive for anything. Therefore, we're going to strip you of your Heisman. No, but he broke the NSA rule that caused the Heisman trophy. Yeah, but I can't him. give that to Vince just because Reggie did something. And, you know, hey, he doesn't get the Heisman, so you get the Heisman. You just vacate it. Now, I had no problem with that. I mean, Vince could have, you know, he could have won it. I don't think anybody would have a problem if. We're going to give it to Vince because we've taken it away from Reggie Bush. It would be weird, though, to have a Heisman that says Reggie Bush on it and you give it to Vince Young. Yes, Marv. Should Mike Greenwell get his 1988 AL uh, MVP since Jose Canseco cheated? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So that's a different thing, yes. right? Okay. Yes. All right. Like, do we want to open this up and now we're going to rewrite history? All of these controversies. <laughs> The dangerous, dangerous road to go down. Yes, yeah, he. But I was just gonna say, is it is giving him is giving Reggie Bush back his Heisman the right thing to do or opening a dangerous door? I think it's both. Reggie was the best player I saw that year. One of the best players that I've ever seen. Yeah, he was awesome. He was. He was a hell of a college football player. Did he do something stupid? Not paying back the loan? Yes. Yes, because if he pays it back, then he, this never comes to light. That team was awesome. The teams that he was on, the Matt Liner, Reggie Bush, the Dwayne Jarrett in there, I think, maybe. That, that was a fun team, man. Oh. That was a fun team. All right, I'm hearing from a source here who says, if I had to guess, 
this may be a step in coordination uh, between the Heisman Trust and the NCAA related to the uh, Reggie Bush defamation lawsuit against the NCAA. Now, that's just a guess here by somebody. But it's somebody well-connected that I trust. But there is the defamation lawsuit against the NCAA. That, uh, let's see. (laughs) Yeah. Reggie filed a defamation lawsuit against the NCAA August of 2023. There's there's a lot of things attached to this. I don't know if we get answers today, but uh, we'll try. We got calls out to everybody, as you would uh, come to expect. 